Hi everyone. Let's solve question number thirty-nine. If the line x by a plus y by b equals to one is a tangent to the curve x is part two by three plus y is part two by three equals to one, then which of the following is true? So this is again a very standard question, and the curve given over here is this one. So x is part two by three plus y is part two by three equals to one. So whenever we have been given such a curve or a question related to a o d and tangent, in that case we'll have to find out the derivative, basically slope. So We'll find out the slope. We'll differentiate this equation, this curve. We'll be getting two by three x raised power minus one by three plus two by three times y raised power minus one by three dot y dash equals to zero. So we'll be getting y dash from here equals to minus times y by x raised power one by three. This is our y dash. Also, the given equation can be written in the format b x plus a y equals to a b. So with the help of this equation, we can find out the slope at the given point. That would be m equals to minus times coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y. That is minus b by a. So the given condition is like this. So this is our point x1 and y1, let's say, and here this tangent is touching, and the slope of this tangent is minus b by a. Also, we can find out the slope of tangent with the help of this derivative. So at x1 and y1, y dash equals to m, and that would be Minus of y1 by x1 raised power 1 by 3. Now we'll be getting minus times y1 by x1 raised power 1 by 3 equals to minus times b by a. So that would give me a y a cube by 1 minus b cube x1 equals to 0. So let's write this in the next page. We have got a cube y1 minus b cube x1 equals to 0. This is our first equation. Also, x1 and y1 is going to satisfy this curve as well and this tangent as well. Let's try to write this one. So we'll be getting b x1 plus a y1 equals to a b. Right. This is our second equation. Now, what I'll do? I'll multiply b square, b square in the second equation. That would give me b cube x1. Plus b square a y one equals to a b cube. That would give me third equation. Similarly, I'll multiply minus a cube minus a square in the second equation. So what I'll be getting minus a square b x one minus a cube y one equals to minus a cube b. Right. Now let's try to add third equation and first equation. So I'll be getting. A cube y1 plus b square a y1 equals to a b cube. So a gets cancelled out, and this becomes square. So I'll be getting y1 times a square plus b square equals to b cube. Basically, what I've got y1 equals to b cube divided by a square plus b square. Similarly, if you add fourth and first equation, you'll be getting x1 equals to A cube divided by a square plus b square. Now we have got the value of x1 and y1. Basically, I've got we have got the value of point. Now we can plug that point in this equation. So we'll be getting x raised to power two by three. So basically, a cube raised to power two by three divided by a square plus b square raised to power two by three plus. Similarly, b cube raised to power two by three divided by a square plus b square. Raised to power two by three, and that is equals to one, right? So this becomes a square, and this becomes b square divided by a square plus b square raised to power two by three equals to one. Now this is three by three. Nothing. This is nothing but three by three. So basically, we have got a square plus b square raised to power one by three equals to one. Basically, that means a square plus b square equals to one. So with this, we can say that a is the correct answer.